In this project, we're building a talking D20. A 20-sided die is used for tabletop RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. The outer shell is entirely 3D printed. If we take a look inside, you'll see all of the electronics. To put this project together, we'll need to equip with a handful of breakout boards and components from Adafruit. So how does it work? Well, let's take a look. This project uses the Arduino platform, and like all Arduino sketches, it has a setup and a loop function. These in turn call functions from the Arduino libraries to make things happen. The code casts the sleep spell, putting the circuit in a low power state, and when movement is detected, the accelerometer gets a wake-up call. So here's where phase gravity vectors come to play. After coming to rest, the sensor measures its orientation. The sketch has a table of x, y, and z vectors for each of the 20 faces so it knows which face is up. It then pings the audio effects board to play an audio file of the number it's landed on. And to make things a bit more interesting, it throws in a little audio commentary. You roll a two. Good day, sir. <laughs> we can start this project by uploading the code to the microcontroller. The sketch needs libraries for the audio effects board and the accelerometer, but we can easily install those using the library manager in the latest Arduino IDE. To forge the D20 enclosure, you'll need access to a 3D printer, but we can 3D print the parts in just two halves with no support material. And if you're not a bot operator yet, you can of course check with your local library or makerspace. And if you're looking to invest into a 3D printer, we do have a nice assortment of bots in the Adafruit shop. It'll take just under two hours to print each piece. You can of course download and remix the parts. Now to assemble the electronics, you'll need to avoid cold solder joints and large blobs. If wiring is a challenge and you're just starting out, you can learn some really good soldering tactics from Colin's lab. All of the steps and instructions to build this project are in Phil B's fully documented tutorial. Phil B is of course the programmer and creator of this project and you can follow his guide on the Adafruit learning system while you build this project. I know I did. So be the alpha geek of your gaming group and 3D print yourself a jumbo D20 and trick it out with electronics because that's how we makers roll. If you want to learn more about combining 3D printing and DIY electronics, you can watch our 3D Hangout. It's on every Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this project, be sure to let us know down in the comments and subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.